All right, it's here. We're finally going to build the leveling build that's going to lead into the most ultimate blizzard endgame build of all time that just one shots Lilith. We are talking about the ice shards leveling build up to 50. Okay, this is going to build right into the end game of the most one of the most powerful builds the sorcerer has. So let's go over everything that you need for ice shards and how to play the build. <clears throat> so guys, ice shards. We're all about freezing enemies and making enemies vulnerable. So let's go over everything that you need. So we're going to talk about frostbolt into flickering frostbolt to make enemies not only frozen, or excuse me, to make enemies that are frozen vulnerable for three seconds. If you don't like flickering, then you could do glinting just to give you some more mana regen when you're hitting a chilled or frozen enemy, which should happen pretty much all the time. Then we're going to come down. We're taking one point into fireball, which is going to be into our uh, enhancement slot, the very first one you get. So when they explode, they deal 50% damage of fireball. Next, five points into ice shards, the most dominant frozen spell of all time into greater ice shards which while we have a barrier which is going to be always casting ice shards treats the enemies as if they were frozen which is another reason why we do flickering which makes them automatically vulnerable next we have one point into devastation for just a little bit more mana and then three points into elemental dominance which while we cast above 50 mana ice shards or whatever we cast is going to do nine percent increased damage absolutely fantastic then down to our defensive skills, we're taking one uh, point into teleport all the way up to shimmering teleport, not only for mobility, but for big damage reduction, three points into glass cannon for even more damage because every sorcerer build has to have it. Just be careful because you take 9% more damage if you get hit. Then we got three points into elemental attunement, which on a lucky hit, our crit strikes give us a chance to reset one of our defensive cooldowns can happen every 10 seconds, which would be teleport, ice armor, as well as frost nova. Hopefully it's frost nova, which would be great. Speaking of, we take frost nova all the way into mystical frost nova to make enemies vulnerable. However, if you needed more mana, which you don't, you could take shimmering, but you need mystical frost nova to make everybody vulnerable. <clears throat> Next, we are taking Ice Armor into Enhanced Ice Armor just for the barrier as well as the um, mana regeneration. If you wanted to go up to even more, you could take Shimmering, which will make them frozen if they hit you. Or damage against this contributes 50% 50 more to the Ice Armor barrier. It's totally up to you. You don't really need it. If you are going to do that, I would take one out of Elemental Attunement and just put it into Shimmering and you'd be all set. <clears throat> Next, as a secondary damage dealer, which is really going to help explode things... We are taking Hydra. This is just passive damage to stack on top of Ice Shards into Invoked Hydra. After we crit strike, our Hydra's gain critical strike damage, which is great. If you wanted to do Burning, you could. Either one is fine. I've tested both. Both of them seem really, really good. Three points into Precision Magic, so we get the Lucky Hit Chance Increase. One point into Align the Elements for Damage Reduction. Two points into Mana Shield. To, uh, every time we spend 100 mana, we gain 10% damage reduction. And Protection here. Using a cooldown... Grants 30% of our max life as a barrier for two seconds. All of our skills are cooldowns. At least first four are all cooldowns. We should have a barrier active all the time. Down to our master skills. We're not taking any except for the three passive and icy veil. So our barriers have increased duration. Then down here to our ultimate skills. We're taking no ultimates. But we are going to take three points into permafrost for more damage against elites. Three points into icy touch against uh, more increased cold damage against vulnerable enemies. Which they're always going to be vulnerable. And then three points into Frigid Breeze on the lucky hit. Cold damage against vulnerable enemies has a chance to generate mana. This is really going to be good to help us spam Ice Shards. For our key passive, we're taking Avalanche. The reason we're taking Avalanche instead of Shatter is because our Frost skills have a chance to make our next cast of Ice Shards, Frozen Orm, or Blizzard consume no mana, but more importantly, deal more damage and the chance is doubled if they're vulnerable. So... Everybody's going to be vulnerable, so we have a 20% chance, and then the damage is going to be 80%. Or no, excuse me, the chance is doubled. Sorry, not damage. So we would have 20% chance, which is just even better. <clears throat> so guys, that's the build. It's pretty simple. Teleport to get around. <clears throat> Ice armor for mana regen. Freeze big mobs. Always drop a hydra when we go into combat. Frostbolt from a distance. Ice shards. Let it absolutely rip. And you're going to see how fun and cool this build is. Is probably the most dominant build that you can have in the game. Uh, at least early on. You just shatter everything. Freeze. Everything blows up. Super easy. You just have to be very precise with your ice shards. Because I miss a lot. And, you know, missing really sucks. Those guys lined up perfectly. So we're going to drop a Hydra. Come in here. 
and everything just detonates. Super easy. Freeze. Everything's dead because of fireball enchantment. Oh, and our next enchantment slot, guys, I'm sorry, is ice shards because ice shards uh, um, have a chance to ricochet to another enemy. Ice shards always ricochet off frozen enemies. And we're going to treat every enemy as if they are frozen. So everything ricochets no matter what. Freeze. Everything's dead. The build absolutely fries everything. It's way better than Chain Lightning. Way better than Firewall. It is probably the best leveling skill or build that you can have in the game. And this leads up very, very well against uh, or for the end game Ice Shards build with Blizzard, which is just insane. If you guys have not seen the clip of um, Northward defeating Lilith and literally a few shots critting 4 million back to back to back to back to back, it's kind of nuts. But you can see the build is just so... So easy, very fluid. Everything gets exploded. Super fun. Wrapped around that, no problems whatsoever. And again, guys, this build, no insane legendary powers needed. You only need codex powers. So again, we're doing might for um, damage reduction with basic skills, which is our frostbolt. Then we're taking, um, excuse me. Oh, that's an extra one. Well, you're going to be taking, uh, so we're taking... Basic skills that grant damage reduction, which is huge. Then we're taking disobedience for more armor. We should always have this. Then we're taking uh, deal increased damage against immobilized, stunned, or frozen. Everything's frozen. Then we're taking using a cooldown gives us mana back. All four skills are cooldowns. Then we're taking, um, we're not taking chain lightning. However, this is, you know, solid on there. Next, we're taking uh, edge master. Skills deal up to 10% uh, increased damage based on primary resource left. So when this is full and we cast Ice Shards, it deals the maximum amount of increased damage. And then last but not least for the build, guys, you have to have Ice Shards Pierce up to four times, dealing less damage each subsequent enemy. This just gives us even more Pierce. Makes the build absolutely insane. So those are the gear pieces that you need. Again, nothing too serious for the build. However, you do have to have this uh, power especially this should be the very first one that you get if you can't get it the build still works fine you have a less chance to ricochet but once you have this you absolutely slap so guys that is ice shards leveling from 1 to 50 we will have an end game variant for this very very shortly uh, but make sure to like the video guys comment down below what do you guys think about ice shards i know it's insane you guys are going to all be like i love this build it's it's absolutely fantastic uh, and subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.